Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a repeater field with ability that if repeater field changes, there will be some calculations in other fields of the form. For example, our invoice example from filamentexamples.com, you choose the product and then the recalculation happens in a total price. Also, you can change quantity to two, for example, and the total is recalculated. So this is a repeater field and this is not a repeater field. So how does that work? This comes, as I mentioned, from invoice editor example from our filament examples. And if you want to get the access to full code, the price for filament examples is $99 for all 33 full projects at the moment. And there will be more in the future. And this week, there's a Black Friday discount of 40% with the code Friday 2023. But if you don't want that full code or can't afford it, just follow on YouTube and on LaravelDaily.com. We often slice those examples into separate tutorials, answering specific questions and demoing it on YouTube on Laravel Daily. So this is exactly the example. On LaravelDaily.com, we published a free article and I will link that in the description below, live calculations with the repeater. And I will explain how that code works. So we have a form with repeater of invoice products. And in addition to the main schema of that repeater, which doesn't matter that much, it's a select and text input. It can be anything you want. These parts are the most important ones. Live, which means that any change of repeater fields will trigger the update. Then what should happen after that update, after state updated? And for that, we created a specific function inside of the same resource class. It's a static function, update totals. And I will show you that in a minute. And also we need to trigger that after deleting a row separately. So delete action after will trigger the same update totals. And then in those update totals, here's the function. We have invoice products, which is the live value of the current values of the form. So whatever products and quantities are chosen at that exact moment, within get variable, then we filter them just in case to avoid any empty products or quantities. Then we find the latest prices of those products and then make a calculation of two fields, subtotal and total. And with the set variable, we actually set the values of the form fields with those names. So there's subtotal and total here in the form. In another section outside of repeater, we have text input subtotal and text input total. And there are also taxes with calculations, but this is a separate topic. What I wanted to show you here is repeater live after state updated. And then if that calculation is more complex, you can specify a custom function inside of the same resource or outside of it, you may create a service or something like that. And this is just one example of how filament is flexible for changing some values dynamically based on the changes in other form inputs. Subscribe to the channel to get more examples like this one in daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.